Hello, good afternoon everyone. I'm writer coach Tony and welcome back to my channel. Um, I just came from the movie, uh, I just came from watching the movie um, Past Lives. So the movie just finished and I just woke up. Joke. Um, wait, is it? Are you... Oh yeah, it is. Sorry. I was just checking if the video was working. So I'm now in the upper uh, area of Trinoma. So it's a beautiful area. There are people right now over here. Yeah, there are people there over here. So anyway, um, the movie Past Lives, um, the buzz is very strong for Greta Lee, uh, the Oscar buzz. Um, yeah, she gives a very understated performance actually, very... Um, she really holds her emotion in, you know? And um, the story is about um, two people uh, from Korea. And uh, the character of Greta, her family moves to the U.S. You know? And migrates there. So it's a story which many Filipinos can relate to. Um, especially those who have... Who left someone here now it's about leaving someone someone you love um you're very close to I mean, in their case but um uh, i don't know if it's really love no because how can you feel love when they were like maybe 10 12 years old no so maybe puppy love would be like it um so and then funny thing is it took them so long to reconnect that's the part which kind of puzzles me, but um, knowing that it's not easy to reconnect with people from your past, um, I've, yeah, I've kind of understood it um, yeah, later on why it took them so long to reach out to each other. Because in the movie, they reached out after 12 years, which is understandable because that's the only time we had social media. Ne? Or a semblance of social media, mga 12, like in real life, 2008 pa lang, or maybe 2006, simula yung mga Facebook, di ba, mga MySpace. So we were able to connect with people um, who we haven't seen for a long time. But it's only now, 2023, that um, everything is already documented. They can document your life can reach out to people you haven't seen for years so because um, after 12 years they reconnected they were still in the start of their careers and um, what happened is they ended up with other people no? because obviously they would because the guy lives in Seoul although the city is not <laughs> is not um, specified I just assumed it's in Seoul and then the girl is um, they immigrated to Canada, and, but she now lives in New York City. And then in her one of her sabbaticals, or you know where they write, uh, she meets this um, um, Jewish guy, American guy, and they get married. So they're both Americans, uh, but the girl's family lives in Toronto. So. Um, so it took another 12, so 12 years plus another 12, so 24 years. No? So maybe let's assume they were 12 years old. So they were around 36 now when they really met, uh, met again. So ayun, it was a bit. Terms, I'm believe ako sa husband, no? Ni, ni Greta Lee, uh, ni Na Young. So it's Na Young and Hei Song. Uh, because she was, he was able to. I think he felt that there was something between the two of them, no? um, but he was um, very um, cav uh, not cavalier. He was very understanding about it. And Disha not like, freak out. No, he didn't really um, try to discourage the two of them seeing, meeting each other. Because um, on the surface, the man, they seemed like childhood friends. No? They were really childhood friends. 
and um, who was he naman to interfere with that no? to you know um, interfere with that relationship because uh, it's some it's a friendship they've had for years so um, so in the first scene in the movie it was very funny because um, there were people who were observing them from afar and then he was saying um, um, who do you think are these three people are they like is a Asian guy and a Asian girl together and what's the white guy doing there so it was very funny how they constructed that scene because the husband actually of Greta, Greta's character, was just across them, no? So they were, um, the, the two childhood friends were facing each other, and then the husband was um, beside um, Na Young's character, you know, Greta Lee's character, so she was, um, so it seemed, um, yun na nga, medyo off, no, medyo awkward in, in Tagalog. I in among the Filipinos, we would say awkward, no? um, because the guy, the American husband, they have a very good relation. In the movie, they seem like they have a very good relationship with with each other, with Nayang's character, because they think they really complemented each other because they were both writers. So um, their characters really mesh, no and. They were very calm. There was no arguments in the movie. There was no jealousy. Um, they were just um, the guy was able to accept um, who Hei Song was in Nayang's life. Um, so, ayun the movie discusses what ifs, no, what could have been. Which is usually true. I could actually relate to the movie because. So now there's a person in my life, my personal life, um, who I'd like to meet again. And it's funny because the kids, especially Laura, are laughing because uh, I'm such a loser though because I could not go. But this movie shows that if you have a connection with someone from your past, no? especially this one because they were childhood friends. And in my case, we met them when we were in our 30s. But we, uh, we had a shared um, history. We had, a shared, we had shared experiences, so um, the idea actually to reconnect is not not even to be together, you know? uh, the idea is just to be reconnected, to say hello, how are you, and then um, maybe find a way, especially if they have already have someone in their lives, or if not, naman, it doesn't really matter if we get together. But in past lives, I say it was impossible for that to happen in this movie because um, Na Yang's character was already married, and um, Yun, it was a case of missed opportunity. If it was, yeah, in a way it was, but not really because um, they lived far apart from each other. You know, they had to make big life choices for them to be together. Um, if they can do that, then fantastic. If they're willing to do that, especially, I think it would be Hei Song has to do that because um, he has to move to America. And of course, they cannot do that because he's not married yet. So that complicates the matter. Um, but the way they, the story is dealt is um, there's acceptance with their case. And... Um, uh, they had no illusions that their meeting up again can, you know, make them be together in the real world, no? in real life. Um, it's for people, um, for me, um, if I do want to meet the person I want to meet again, just like Na Yang and Heso, um, I think I just want to rekindle the friendship doesn't have to be in a relationship I mean the relationship could be as friends no? um, so there would be no pressure on each other to really invest especially because we're really we're old now in the movie they were 36 years old major young uh, because I met this guy when I was 34 32 so 
But in this case, um, um, in my case, since we're already in our 50s, um, yeah, it would be prudent to invest in a relationship now. Um, just as friends would be fine. And um, yeah, that movie has made me want to rekindle. Not rekindle, contact again. No? Uh, this past friend of mine just to be curious to see what happens no? and the movie I don't know why it's named past lives I began to realize it now past lives because they had a past life but parang it's implied that they they had to meet each other as different people in a past life or in their present life or in their future life they were already together so that part I didn't quite understand um, um you know the idea of having different lives um because yeah how sure are you that you'd still meet no if you, if we all had multiple lives in different times in history um how sure are you that we would be in the same you know um, social standing um, educational background especially for the women because women before um, do not have the same social mobility as they have now no? where they can really make choices so because in the scene where um, he Sung leaves for Korea um, Yun, he asked this question uh, in, my, in our future life um, would we be together so anyway Ayun. So anyway, um, the movie is uh, um, it's really a talking. So the whole movie they just talk with each other, and then when they do meet, they I find they're meeting a bit uh, awkward, maybe awkward, but you know they're not really Filipinos. Kung Filipinos yun talagang nagsigawa na yun. Yun lang kasi boy and girl, so I kind of understand why. There was a bit of hesitance, especially on Aesong's part to be all out. I mean, because um, Nayang's character was really embracing him and, you know, touching him. But um, Aesong was a bit, um, um, you know, guarded in the way he, in the way he reacted to meeting Nayang for the first time. So... Um, so this is a great deep, and I don't know if it's a debut movie eh, of Celine's song, but um, um, it's a good starting point. No? It's a, it could be a seed for my story as well. No? Um, in my case, lang, I don't know if if we do get a chance to meet again, but in this case, I say they do meet again. Um, so. Ayun, the story ends with um, uh, them going back, um, Aesong going back to Korea. And you know, it's the real life, no? Real life. Sometimes real life happens. No? Um, so, yeah, the movie is um, um, well written, well acted. Um, actually, I find um, T.U. T.U. T- you too. I forgot his name. Um, as a better, he was a he was better in the movie. You know, he was he really uh, got his scene the way uh, I was expecting it to. You know? And he was a bit shy, you know, very very Asian, very shy person. He was very shy, and um, he was very reserved in what he wanted to say. So I, you know, I, I really like that part of his character he wasn't he wasn't all out with his emotions which is very Asian very very Korean I think um, maybe I'm speaking from a gay person point of view because if it were us we would really be screaming hello you know, especially for people who haven't seen for 12 years 24 years no? so with that um, past life is not for everyone um, because it might um, it's just a basically kind of a love story 
um, being played out in the present. And it's not even a love story. It's kind of um, a sad story of what could have been. No? Um, but it's well written, well acted. And the pacing is just enough. And it really reflects the culture of the Koreans and of the Asian people as well. So anyway, if you have time, past life is showing here in Manila. Um, thank you. Please subscribe to my channel, Writer Coach Tony. And please follow me in my Instagram, my Facebook, and my Twitter. So anyways, uh, I'll post this soon, uh, later when I get home. And uh, take care, everyone. Uh, hello from Kainoma Mall once again. Bye.